In the midst of all the challenges that member countries are facing in developing their education, there are good uh, initiatives, effective initiatives, solutions that have worked which uh, need to be shared. Dr. Henry Kaluba, Acting Director of the Social Transformation Division at the launch of the second Commonwealth Good Practice Awards. The event took place on April 30 at the Commonwealth Secretariat in London. Congratulations. The awards acknowledges good practices in education throughout the Commonwealth. It's focused on six action areas which address the achievement of universal primary education. Malaysia is a host. Chair of the adjudication panel of the awards, Stan Shri Dr. Zul Karnain Awang, said the awards promise to be bigger this time around. We expect more participation from member countries and uh, second, uh, definitely there will be uh, better participation from various countries, but uh, most importantly is um, we believe there will be more sharing, more excitement in terms of uh, to see uh, the good practice that being carried out. The second winner is for educational innovation carried forward. Lucas Filippo, principal of the Ajea Lemesis Primary School in Cyprus, second place winner of the 2006 awards, told the audience about their project. It supported education in the face of conflict and transformed their community. The first day of my school, Greeks on one side, Turks on the other, each afraid of the other. Now you can see uh, people sitting next to each other, expecting their children to be improved, to be educated and have better life, uh, which they didn't have, the parents didn't have at the past. From Cape Town, South Africa, the winners of the first place for the first round of the Education Good Practice Awards, Susanna, uh, Edwin, and Luanda. I hope that the applause has reached all the way down to Cape Town. Entries are invited from large and small projects in six action areas. Achieving universal primary education, eliminating gender disparities in education, improving quality in education, using distance learning to overcome barriers, supporting education in difficult circumstances, and mitigating the impact of HIV AIDS on education systems. Education ministries, civil society and non-governmental organizations working in the fields of education have until October 31, 2008 to submit their entries. Look at the projects that are around your country. Uh, talk to your uh, partners that are working with you on the ground. Uh, see what you can uh, submit uh, for the awards of 2009. Ivan Chin reporting for Commonwealth TV.